So, I summarism. Did you? I haven't seen him since AS. Is he alright? Is he good? Anyway, I summarism. So we did some isomerism in AS. We did some we stereo did. isomers. Yeah. Um, through that we did EZ and cis trans uh, either way. Yeah. But there was another one we mentioned that we we're going to go on to, and that was optical. It is. So let's get on to that. Optical. Yeah. That's the new one. So, dear refresher, stereo isomers are molecules that have different arrangements in space but the same molecular formula. Yeah. So, they look slightly different if you could grab a three-dimensional literature form. Yeah. They look slightly different. And as you have exam papers, you kind of can. Yep, so that's alright. So, for optical to occur, mm -hmm. we need one of these criteria to be fit. And, yeah, one of these criteria could be a chiral or chiral or chiral carbon. Yeah, whatever it is. I'm going to write it up here. That word there. So, one of those is when each of the four things the carbon is bonded to are different things. If all four are different, it is said to be, we'll call it Cheryl. Alright, I like Cheryl. Now, these four things could be anything. They could be as simple as what Trip's doing here, an H, an OH. They could be a whole massive chain on one side. Yeah. It could be a whole benzene ring, often in exams. In that or something like that. Thing. What kind of I not used? You haven't used... None of them. Red. Red. So these are four different things. If you can think of a fourth chemical, go on, go on. I'll just do a different one of them. Bromine. Yeah. But in this plane, it's quite difficult to think of an opposite. Yeah. So in your exams, what you have is you have your three-dimensional drawings, yeah. when you have striped lines and the solid wedge, the, the wedges as they're called. So you're going to have... So that would be a solid wedge. Uh, in your exam, it would probably be shaded in nice and neatly. Yep. And that means going into the page? Yep. I think yep. so. And the other one means going out the page. Either way, it's like, you know, this plane. And so... With this, it's Cheryl, yeah. and it's got these three-dimensional things, so yeah. we can now draw an optical isomer. And use, and that's how, yeah, you need to do it, using a mirror. That's what you used to use. Ba, 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 that is a lovely mirror. Oh, thank you. I'm just looking at it. Yeah, I actually look okay today. Yeah. So what you do is you draw it in reverse. So this H is going to, still going to be the closest thing to it, because it's a mirror. So it will then be attached to a central carbon again, yeah. and going up with the same wedge, it's like reflecting exactly the same wedge, We'll be oh, arranged up. You know the different, they need two different colours. Yep, so that's, that's still going to be bromine. This has got a solid wedge going backwards and it's Cl again. And this other wedge going upwards is OH still. Yeah, so at the moment they look pretty similar. And you might think you could twist one into the other. But you can't. You can't, not quite. And that's because of our in and out bonds. If we say this is going into the board, mm -hmm. if you flip it round, it will then be coming out of the board. Yeah, and, and this that is one not here the same. is going into the board. So, yeah, they are non opposable. And so the only difference between them, really, is the way they polarise light. Yeah, one would polarise it clockwise, clockwise, one would polarise it anti clockwise. Yeah, but if they were both there, they'd cancel each other out. They would, so you'd see something clear. Yeah, and that's called a racemic mixture. Very good words coming out of yeah, today. That's a good word. Um, one more thing to mention. Mm -hmm. Forgotten it. Oh, uh, this. If there's one shadow carbon, there'll be one pair. Thank like God, we're a team here yeah, today. Good, it wasn't with it. But if, if there's, there's two, two, there we are. Yeah, there's, there's two. two pairs. Yeah. of isomers and so on and so on. But yeah, as I think it's said. likely you'd only be asked for one. Yeah. in terms of actually drawing an isomer. Sometimes they might ask you to spot how many of these are in a compound. We saw that exam the other day. Yeah, they might ask you to circle them or count them or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is optical isomerism. Yeah, and it's something you need to know for, for life, so uh, let's do life. Let's do life. Hopefully yeah. it'll be a bit better at that.